Hello everyone and welcome back to Unity Tutorials, I guess. For everyone not understanding, my channel kind of grew up with tutorials on the Unity game engine. Today I want to show you how you can create a third person camera controller with almost perfect collision as well. So let's get right to it. And also if you enjoy my content, maybe consider subscribing and liking to help me make more videos just like this one. I've already set up this example scene with the player character and basic movement. But you might have noticed that the camera doesn't move at the moment, it's stationary. So let's change that. For this we will first need to create an empty object. I will call this camera center. And put it next to the player in the hierarchy. Also don't forget to reset the transform on it. Then let's create the main camera. And make a child of the camera center. Also reset the camera transforms as well. But change the Z until you see your player in the little window right here. This will also be the default zoom value once we create the camera movement script. So let's actually do that right now. Click add component and I will call this camera camera movement, new script, create an add and also open this up. We will first have to create a lot of variables. So I will try to do this as fast as possible, but it has to be done. So let's get right to it. First, we will need to create a public game object character, which will be the object that our main camera follows. Then we will also need to reference our camera center, which is the empty game object we set up a few seconds ago. Then I will also create a public float called Y offset. And I will default that to 1. This will be the height above the camera center point where you want to rotate your camera around. So you might want to change that to the position of the head of the character. The next variable will be a public float as well. And I will call this sensitivity. And default it to 3. And this will be the mouse sensitivity for the rotation of the camera. We also need to reference the camera. And now we will need two more variables for scroll sensitivity and dampening. And also don't forget that all of the values I set here are just values that fit my character. So you might want to change some of those values around or try it in the editor then. The next four variables are for the zooming as well. So we will first want to create the zoom minimum value. Then we want to create the maximum value, which I will default to 15. Then the default value, which I will set to 10. And then we will create a public float, which will just be the distance at the moment. The collision sensitivity will determine how sensitive the camera is to collisions or how far an object has to be behind the camera. Now we'll have to define two private variables, first of which will be a private raycast hit, and I will just call this uh, cam hit, and a private vector3 uh, cam distance, or cam dist for short, which will just store the current distance we calculated in a vector3 and then later on we can apply it. Now in the start method, we want to initialize some things. So first of all, we want to set the cam distance equal to our cam.transform.local position. So relative to the camera center. Then we want to set the default zoom value. Uh, so the zoom distance will be set to zoom default. And then we want to apply that default zoom. So we can just type underscore cam distance dot z is equal to zoom distance and last but not least we just want to remove the cursor so just set cursor to visible equal to false now in the update method we first want the camera to follow the character position or not the camera itself but the camera center so we can type camera center dot transform dot position is equal to a new vector 3 from the character dot transform dot position dot x and you might have guessed it, and for the y, we want to choose the character transform dot position dot y, but we also want to apply that y offset we defined up there. 
and then for the z axis we just want the character dot transform dot position dot z and that's for following the player around and now we want to calculate the rotation and we will store that in a rotation variable first so let's just say var rotation which will be equal to a quaternion the euler in a camera center dot transform dot rotation dot euler angles dot x minus we want to subtract the mouse y value which we will get by input dot get axes mouse y times the sensitivity divided by 2 and now for the y we want to do something similar we want to get the cam camera center dot transform dot rotation dot order angles dot y but this time we want to add the input dot get axis mouse x times the sensitivity and then for the z you probably can guess it but it's just camera center dot transform dot rotation dot euler angles dot z and then don't forget the semi this basically just calculates the rotation we need to apply from the current mouse position and if you want to invert the movement the y movement or the x movement you just need to switch those x plus and minus around okay so now we just need to apply that rotation we could also do that in one step, but I think it's more it's clearer when we do it uh, with the variable. So just camera center transform dot rotation is equal to rotation. And that is rotation and following already done. But I wanted to implement zooming as well. So now we just need to check if we actually scrolled. And we can do that with input dot get axis mouse scroll wheel. And don't get a typo in there, that's annoying if you do. Um, should unequal 0f, so we actually need to make sure that we scrolled. And now we need to calculate how much we scrolled. This is a relatively simple calculation, we just need to get our scroll input. And times it by the scroll sensitivity. Then we want to multiply the scroll amount times the zoom distance by 0 0.3 but the scroll amount will always be just in this case now times 0 0.3 or minus 0 0.3 so what we need to do is we need to add this on top of a variable so we can actually scroll in zoom in and out and that's why we have the zoom distance variable so let's type zoom distance and add the scroll amount times minus one but we can do a shortcut and just say plus minus scroll amount now the last step is that we have to clamp that zoom distance because else we would be able to just infinitely zoom out so just type mathf.clamp and give it the zoom distance as the value we want to clamp the minimum zoom and the maximum zoom now we have calculated the distance we want to apply but to make sure we don't apply it on every frame we just have to make sure if we are already zoomed in enough so we just take the cam distance dot z and if that unequals the minus zoom distance then we want to apply it because then we are not zoomed in enough so let's choose the cam distance dot z because that's the axis we want to apply our quote unquote zoom on and let it equal to mathf dot lerp with the camera distance between the camera distance dot z and the negative value of a zoom distance. I know this is a bit confusing that we have to invert the zoom distance all the time, but it's just the way we calculate this and multiply the time the delta time by the scroll dampening, and this will be the amount of time it will need to actually scroll in and out. Now we are finished with the cam distance, and we can actually just apply our transform. It's cam dot transform dot local position equal to underscore cam distance. The last step is basically to handle the collision. And to handle the collision properly, we need to set a game object behind the camera to then cast a ray between the player and this game object. So we can also check for objects behind the camera and smoothen things out. So let's first create that game object. Uh, so I just call it obj and equal to a new game object. And then we need to set the obj.transform and we need to set the parent of it to cam dot transform 
Parent. Now we just need to set the local position of that object. So type object.transform dot local position is equal to a new vector3 with the cam dot transform dot local position as a the x. Then the cam dot local dot transform dot local position dot y as the y value and the cam dot transform dot local position dot y dot z um, but this time minus the collision sensitivity now we just have to cast cast that ray and we are using physics the line cast to do this we can just define a start and an endpoint and as the start round we want to use our camera center dot transform dot position we need to use world space this time and the end will be our object we just created dot transform dot position the output will be our cam hit variable we created earlier and now we can do things whenever there is a collider in between first we can set our camera position to the cam hit dot point which will be the hit point and now we need to calculate the local position so let's create a variable local position and equal to a new vector 3 with the cam dot transform dot local position as the x value the cam transform the local position of the camera as the y value and the cam dot transform dot local position dot z plus the collision sensitivity this way we just make a bit more space between the object it collided with and the actual camera but now we need to apply that calculated local position so just type cam dot transform dot local position will be equal to our local position we just calculated um, let's clean up a bit by just destroying the game object we created the only problem we have right now is that this calculation right here could still clip the camera into the player and we want to restrict that so let's create another if statement and let's check if the cam dot transform dot local position uh, dot z is bigger than minus one you may have to change that value depending on how big your character is but for me minus one worked very well um, we just want to set the camera transform dot local position equal to a new vector 3 and just leave the x and y axis as is but we just want to set the z to minus one because we don't want it to get any closer and this should be everything let's try it out first we need to apply some of the game objects we defined in code so the character will be the player object right here which is just the mesh we will also need to define the camera center which is just this object here and the camera will just be this object and indeed it does work pretty well you can see i can't clip into the ground at all and i also can't clip into the player i can zoom in and out you may also want to play around with some of the values like the collision sensitivity the sensitivity of the mouse and the scroll dampening and scroll sensitivity but we still have to change the camera movement a bit more because at the moment the camera then can still clip into the player by just moving down a lot so you can still see that i can clip into the player here to fix that we will need to create a yet another script that will restrict the rotation of the camera center so go to the camera center empty click on add object and create a script called camera rotation restriction or whatever you want and open it up this time we will only need to create one variable and this will be a public float and this will be the angle we want to restrict at so intuitively we want to call it the restriction angle and it will default mine to minus 50. Now this part is a bit confusing, or was confusing for me at least, um, because I looked in the editor and used the editor rotation value right here. So I used that value to check and when the camera will be low enough to glitch into the player. And for me that was at minus 50. So I really wanted to use that value and I'm not really that smart when it comes to quaternions. So I just used a method to get the editor rotation. So let's create the update method. 
and I will create a var which will be called rotation. This variable will just store the current rotation of the camera center. And this method might be a bit confusing, but again, this is just the method to get the editor angle, the angle that is displayed in the transform component. So type unity editor dot transform utils dot get inspector rotation and pass the game object dot transform as the object of choice. Now we won't have to check if the rotation dot x is smaller than the restriction angle. If it is, we want to set it to the maximum rotation and leave the rest as it is. And for that, the Unity Editor has another handy method called Unity Editor Utils Set Inspector Rotation. Pass in the Game Object dot Transform as the object to change, and a new vector three for the rotation. Again, the x should be the restriction angle because we don't want to go further than that. And then the y rotation will just be the current rotation, so rotation.y and the z rotation as well. And we are basically done with this script. So once you have set the correct angle for your character, you may just want to go, to go ahead and check out if it's working. And yes, it is working because I can't go further than this angle and I can still rotate around the character. Again, feel free to play with all of the values of those two scripts we just created and until you find something that fits your game. And that's all there is to it. I hope I could help you and till then, see you next time.